what's good this is tjk creative i am tyler hit that subscribe button please please hit the subscribe button hit the like button join the discord as well if you still have problems after this video with installing applio join the discord there's chat sections tons of people in there if i can't help you if i'm not there hopefully somebody else can and yeah the links will be in the description as well this is a newer version of the previous the rvc that one the previous one still works but this is the newer one this has amd support and nvidia support for both graphics cards so i think this will be the one that people would pretty much go for for now moving forward until 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 but the first thing you're gonna need is git for windows so hit, go into the description install this i've already done it so i'm not going to do this specific part right here but just install git for windows that's really what you're going to need again the link in the description for the applio installer again amd support this is great for amd users uh now when you get the oh yeah come down here the installer will be right here called applio installer 4.0 exe just click that and it's going to come into your downloads once it downloads open it i'm just going to come to my desktop you got the little apple logo pulling up this is just going to tell you you know terms and conditions it's pretty short to be honest so if you're one of those people you could read that but i agree and i want to proceed with installation again it's going to tell you you know make sure you have git installed which is this right here install it you will need it i already have it so i'm going to move forward here's the option for nvidia and amd i have nvidia so i'm going to click this but if you have amd you're going to click over here but i have nvidia so let's click that here's the default installation folder it's going to choose i don't want to use the that drive specifically so i'll come into my e drive click here i'm going to copy the path and i'm going to paste the path in here and you still need to create a new folder but you don't need to create it in the actual folders you can create it here i'll just type in app leo as the folder i'll type in rvc in caps for fun app leo rvc so i'm going to click install again if you didn't type in a folder name like a path after the then it's not going to know where to put it. It's going to give you error. So just type in a new folder right here. We're going to click install. And now it's cloning. It's going to bring up pop-ups right here. I don't need to install that. You, I don't need to install that one either. It's going to bring you pop-ups to install like uh, Visual Studio and etc. But I already have those installed. So I exited out of that. But now it's just cloning the thing. Doing a lot of stuff for you. So I'm going to let this sit and uh, we'll come back to this when it's done. There is a part right here where you might think it's not doing anything or or whatever. You might just think it stopped working. It's still installing. It's taking its time doing things in the background that you can't see. I know it's going to look weird. It says fully qualified error ID. Don't worry about it. It's still doing its thing. Just let it continue and it is now completed its installation it says applio has been installed successfully you can click the next button i think it's going to open up the command prompt for us and there it is it should start downloading more things right here, right here when you when it opens so the it's going to do that let it do its thing and now it's it's giving us a a random error but we're going to exit out of here and we're going to go up to the f installation path that we chose. So it should be right here, Applio RVC. And we're going to come into the fork folder, Applio RVC fork. Here's everything. Uh, it's all the installation stuff that it did for us. And in here, I'm going to click on go dash Applio. I'm going to click on the Windows batch file version, not the shell script. I'm going to click on go dash Applio uh, Windows batch file and we're going to open that. And that gives us this window 
for what I recommend is clicking the third option for Nvidia. And I don't really I haven't really used AMD, so the second or fourth one up to you. But I recommend the third one. And I'm clicking number three on my keyboard. Changes the camera. So we're gonna click enter. And it should download more things again such as the I think it's the the PTHs yeah the pre-trained uh, PTHs which it needs to do its RVC thing it needs the pre-trained and it's going to download everything it needs and then after this we should be ready to go so I'll cut to that and after that's done installing I accidentally closed out of it but after that's done installing, choose, uh, again, you could choose one or three. I'll choose number one. Recommended for regular users. I'll choose number one. We'll click that. We'll click enter. And it should boot up everything it needs. Found the GPU, RTX 3090, user language, English, and automatically opened the link here we got model inferencing which is where you you know convert your your vocals and you change it into somebody else we have a training tab looks great we have a uvr for extracting acapellas and getting instrumentals a tts tab which is really cool so now you can put your rvc model in here and do text to speech with the rvc model resources i guess you can download a model if you have that's pretty cool yeah this is kind of new you can download models i guess if somebody has like a google drive link or something you could just throw that url in here it'll download the model put it into your folder pretty cool stuff extra you can merge your you could probably you can use the instrumental and your and your new converted acapella and you can merge it together right here that's pretty cool there's a settings to and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it i have a how to train a data set video you can check that out and yeah if you want here i'll show you guys where you're gonna find your weights folder they don't have it on here like last time now the weights folder is in the logs. So you put your weights, you go to the logs folder on the Applio RVC fork folder. You find the logs folder and you'll see the weights. This is where you'll put your PTH files only. Just put the PTH in here, nothing else. Put the PTH file in here. Then you'll come back, you'll click refresh and then it'll be in this drop down menu. And that's where you'll be getting your models. And then to train, it's the same thing. I guess now you can put your, easily put your data sets in this data set folder right here. And then you could come over here and I'm sure it'll pop up in this drop down, or you could just add the path like before, same thing. And yeah, if you need any more help though, we got the discord, so join the discord, hit that subscribe button again, hit the like button. You can. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I'm just a guy with a camera and a mic. And I'm out.